How's it going everybody? Uh, we got this package here and I thought we'd open it up on camera together. Uh, there's something pretty interesting in here that some of you guys may or may not be interested in, but you know, I don't care. I'm interested in it. So let's go ahead and see if I can do this one handed, shall we? Uh, some of you may remember that I got an Iron Duke uh, out of an S10 a while back and was planning on doing something with it. Well, that led me down this really strange rabbit hole about, uh, about Iron Duke performance. Eh. Now, I didn't know that Iron Duke was based off a of Pontiac design. Oh, I thought it was based off the GM design, but it's not. Now, in the, uh, I want to say in the, the, the early 80s, uh, when uh, the Iron Duke was first introduced in the Fieros and whatnot, Pontiac decided they were going to do some performance parts for them, and that is where this head was born of. This came uh, from their Super Duty line. This is a Super Duty 4, otherwise known as SD4. Uh, and like I said, it's Pontiac. Uh, this is the uh, 801 head. And this thing uh, apparently flowed like 265 plus CFM stock. And with a little porting, uh, 300 CFM at like 600 lift, uh, wasn't unheard of and it's an aluminum head and it bolts onto an Iron Duke now they had a whole line of parts uh, Super Duty parts they had blocks they had cranks and they obviously had heads they had uh, I think they had two or three aluminum ones and a couple cast iron ones but I've picked this up for a steel or a song on uh, eBay now it needs a little work, it does have some damage, so give me a minute here and I'm going to flip it over and we'll take a look at it. Alright, so uh, here's the uh, deck side of the head and you can see uh, it has some damage here. Uh, looks like it dropped the valve seat and just massacred uh, this poor chamber. But it's aluminum, so we're going to attempt to weld it up, like it even went in the water jacket a little bit there. Uh, but we're going to attempt to weld it up and uh, fix it. Um, but like, just look, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. So I don't know if you can, if you can really make out just how monstrous, uh, these ports are, but they are, they're huge. And I don't see, I don't know. I can't tell if these have been ported on. I don't think they have been like at least very much. But for contrast, I guess for better contrast, here, here are the ports on the, uh, the stock Iron Duke intake. Uh, I'm making this intake uh, for the stock head one, uh, just for the fun of it. But like, you can like see like just how huge uh, these ports are compared to the stock, stock head ports. Um, but yeah, here's this intake I'm making for the stock head. Um, it's gonna be multi port injection. I gotta have these bungs welded in, I gotta have this uh, flange welded on. But that's all for this turbo that'll be going on the Duke. Um, and I'm making an exhaust uh, turbo log for it as well. So, anyway, this head by itself should double the 100 horsepower the stock Duke makes uh, to 200, and then we put a bunch of boost on that, we could have 500 horsepower uh, inline four cylinder, which to me that would be absolutely uh, like hilarious and funny. So another reason I wanted to show you guys this head is um, I'm trying to figure out exactly what I need for rockers 
and whatnot because like I'm, I'm gonna be honest here like all the information isn't just out there readily available like it is for ls stuff so i i, I just don't know I, I don't know this stuff now i i apparently jessel makes uh like a rocker set up set up for this with like twelve hundred dollars and i i don't want to spend twelve hundred dollars i've also heard that like possibly uh big block chevy rockers with like a 50 50 uh thousands offset back uh work but i also need to like figure out like valves and springs and the whole shebang so if you know of anybody that might know about this stuff or um has maybe some parts these uh these sd4 parts laying around uh send them my way you know um because more than likely i'm going to be building a second duke uh with this head and unless somebody gives me an sd4 block uh we're going to be using another s10 block and we will more than likely be hard filling uh, uh filling of hard block and um maybe even putting in a marine uh crankshaft because the way it's looking is the crankshaft is going to be the ultimate weak uh link in all of this i've also i've already sourced um forged rods and pistons relatively cheap actually i mean it's also great you only need four of them right not eight uh, relatively cheaply so uh the stock headed iron duke will have forged pistons and rods but a stock crank so we'll see what the stock crank's really capable of uh, with that turbo. And then, like I said, uh, we'll be building another one with this head. And that will probably be getting a half fill of hard block and, like I said, a marine crank. And, uh, and then maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe somebody has one of these SD4 blocks laying around that I can get, right? Like, you all like me, right? Um, so we're going to be doing that. I'm looking at getting uh, a McCruiser uh, 3 liter. The 140. Um, so I want to see how close the heads are from the Iron Duke to the McCruiser engine. Uh, they're a little bit different, but I want to see exactly how different. I might mess around with that as well. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the plan. Uh, turbo stock Iron Duke, build second Iron Duke. And I have um, a line on another head uh so we might just build a full race engine um depending and it also has an intake with it too like the actual super duty intake by the way i'm looking for a super duty intake uh for this head because obviously that ain't going to work and I, I guess like you may be wondering you may be wondering like well what what are we going to put this in right like what what are we ultimately going to put uh this engine in and uh, i think i have the answer it's been sitting here for a while and i just haven't done anything with it i was going to put a small box chevy in it but and eh, small block Chevys are really hard to uh, put fuel injection on um, the way I'd want to do it. It's expensive, and I don't like expensive. Uh, and then I thought an LS, but like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. LSs are great, but I'm getting tired of putting them and stuff. Um, so, yeah, so I'm thinking we're going to put uh, this super char or turbocharged Iron Duke in whatever iteration uh, it, it, it becomes into uh, this, the 1975 uh, Chevy Vega Coupe. I wish it was a hatchback, but it's not. Um, we're probably going to put it into this. Uh, it's been sitting for a long time. I've had it for a long time. It needs something done with it, and I think that's the plan. Um, the S10 engine, we're going to be putting uh, just a T5 behind because, uh, like, we're going to be making all of 300 horsepower, maybe. Uh, you know with enough boost so like i don't think that t5 is going to be hurt uh the super duty headed one uh like i said we could be pushing five six hundred horsepower uh depending uh because the boat crank uh has a bigger stroke so it would be a three liter so we're a whole whole half a liter bigger yeah so a lot lots of potential there um so we'll probably be putting in a turbo 400 behind this uh they make an ultra bell uh, for the Iron Duke bolt pattern to this, so that would be great. But anyway, uh, wrapping this up uh, in summary, we're doing cool things with Iron Dukes. Uh, yes, the Ford uh, LS headed Ford inline 300 is being worked on. I'll have an update video on that soon. 
Um, but yeah, so fun stuff is in the works. Uh, and if you know anybody that has any of this uh, Super Duty stuff or knows anything about it, can give me some info, uh, send it my way. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, it's, it's finally getting nice out. We're finally going to be getting some stuff going on. So until next time, uh, I'll catch you later.